Hi, this is Jenny Brav of Radiant Wholeness Healing, and today we're exploring past lives and any wounds or baggage from a past life that's needing some loving attention. And with past lives, you don't need to actually believe in past lives in my book for you to be able to clear or heal the energy. And I think we can take it as literal or metaphoric, as a collective energy that we've taken in that's needing loving attention. Again, there are lots of ways to hold past life without needing to literally believe that we had multiple lives before this one. And it can be an indicator that a past life is wanting attention if you've worked on a lot of childhood memories in this lifetime linked to a belief or a habit or a pattern, but it still feels stuck. If you've also done some ancestral healing and it still feels stuck, that's often an indicator that there's some other energy there that's wanting loving attention. So if you're having a sense that something you're working through might be from a past life, this is a good video for you. We're going to drop in, do a little meditation to connect with possible past life energy, and then we'll do some tapping to clear it. So you can pause the video if you want to. If you're ready, I invite you to close your eyes. You can be lying down, seated, whatever feels good. With each in-breath, Inviting in a sense of ease and relaxation. With each out breath, inviting anything that's ready to release. Any tension, unwanted thoughts, stuck emotions. With each breath, feeling yourself deepening into the present moment, into your body. Feeling all the places your breath touches as you inhale. And all the places your breath touches as you exhale. And sensing or feeling a dial in your head connecting you to your cognitive brain. And with gratitude for how hard it works to try to figure things out. Analyze. Stay a few steps ahead. Turning that dial as far down as feels comfortable. And sensing a dial in your body, connecting you to your heart, your intuition, your body wisdom. And turning that dial as far up as feels comfortable. And from here, I invite you to feel into whatever it is you think might be connected possibly to a past life. Might be a belief, a pattern, something that feels stuck in your life. And just noticing what that feels like in your body. If you can locate it, if not, that's fine. Noticing any emotions that might be connected. Physical sensations, thoughts. And breathing into all of that, letting it be here, acknowledging it.
And setting the intention to go back in time, potentially to a past life that's wanting healing. Imagining that there's a thread connected to the current experience, the physical sensation or emotions or thoughts. That will lead you back to whatever I was wanting, loving attention. And following that thread back in time. One, as you follow it back, knowing that you are guided, that there's nothing you need to figure out. Two, as you continue following the thread back in time, knowing you can trust whatever is coming up. Three, knowing that you might get information visually, kinesthetically, auditorily, it might just be a felt sense. Four, continuing back in time and continuing to turn down the cognitive brain dial to turn up the intuitive wisdom dial, breathing. And then coming to the end of the thread. And noticing anything you perceive. And if you're still in this lifetime, that's absolutely fine. You can continue what more I'm going to invite you to do, but just with your inner child, or you can switch to the childhood memory video. But otherwise, if it's feels like you might be in a past life, even if you're not getting anything clearly, just notice anything you're perceiving. If it's visual, you might look down at your feet, notice what you're wearing, or you might feel what your body feels like. Notice if you feel young, old, male, female, might be indis indeterminate, that's okay. If it feels like you have a lot of clothes on, not a lot, if they're luxurious or tattered, if you have anything covering your head, covering your feet, just noticing. And then maybe asking this person or feeling, if it's not a fully defined person, what emotions they're having. Might be panic, terror, anger, powerlessness, confusion, sadness. They might feel really numb. And asking what they're believing about or learning about themselves and or about the world based on what they're experiencing. in that moment in time. And then asking them what they're deciding they have to do to cope.
or to survive that situation with that belief they're developing. Might be to hide, to fight back. To not speak their truth, to be hypervigilant. or something else entirely. And then if it's accessible, asking to fast forward in time. to just before they die. And again, if it's not available, that's totally fine. But if it is just noticing if they're alone or with other people, which the situation is, and maybe asking them what their last thought is, what they're deciding they need to do differently in the next life. And again, if nothing comes up for that, that's okay. And when you're ready thanking the past life and letting them know that you're still there, that you're there to support them, and we're going to do a little bit of tapping on them. And you can keep your eyes closed or you can open them for this Part, but imagining that you're tapping on this version of you or whatever feeling you accessed. And so we're going to be saying you, not I. You're going to tap where I'm tapping, repeat after me. And substitute whatever you were getting. You can be more specific than I am. I'm going to be general and then you can plug in what you specifically got or Again, modify the words as needed. Tapping on the side of the hand. Even though you had to live through this. And feel free to specify what it was that you saw if, or you got. You got anything more specific even though you had to live through this. And it brought up so many emotions. And in order to cope, you decided you had to and you can say there what the person had to do. You're still a good person. And the good news is this situation is long gone. Take a deep breath. Tapping on your head. Hi, possible past life self. You can also say young man, old woman, whatever you perceived inside of the eyebrows. I see you. Outside of the eyes, I feel you. Under the eyes, I am so sorry that this was a situation back then. Under the collarbone, I know you felt so powerless. Middle of the sternum. 
sad and angry. Ribs, scared. Feel free to add any emotions you received or substitute them. Side of the body, of course you felt that way. Inside and outside of the wrist, it's okay to feel that way. Other wrist. And considering those circumstances, head, of course you develop the belief inside of the eyebrows that it wasn't safe to be visible outside of the eyes. But there's no point under the eyes that it's better to stay under the radar. Deep breath. And add any other belief that you received. And again, you can always substitute under and above the lips. That's the only way you can make sense of things. under the collarbone, and under those circumstances. With that belief. Middle of the sternum that people aren't safe. Ribs that you're always going to be punished for being you. Side of the body, it was so smart and brave of you. Rest. You do what you needed to do to survive. Other rest. And to decide that the next time around, all of her head, you would never let this happen again. Inside of the eyebrows. That's what you needed to feel less powerless. Outside of the eyes. More in control under the eyes. And the good news is under and above the lips. That situation is long gone. Under the collarbone and the strategy that helped you then, middle of the sternum is actually recreating the very situation it was meant to help you with. Ribs, because the current situation is totally different. Side of the body. And so when and if you're ready, wrist, we can release this. Other wrist, so you can reintegrate current life all over the head where it's safe for you to have what you couldn't back then. Inside of the eyebrows. This is what we're here for. Good, breathe, pause. Maybe close your eyes if they were open and imagine that you're projecting onto the space in between lives, images of your current life, especially anything that's really different from what you accessed back then. Shoulders. 
Showing them maybe the impact on you of holding on to the old belief, the old coping strategy. And if and when they feel ready, you can invite them to release that belief, that strategy, and feel that old situations start to dissolve surrounding both you and your past life, central past life self with golden or white light or any light that feels healing. And as that old reality dissolves, feeling it dissolve from your own body and calling back the possibility of wholeness, integration, of stepping into a version of yourself with no either ors, where you get to embrace your skills, follow your dreams, and be safe, and have stability. And anything else you're stepping into as you release the old trauma, the old strategies, and then dropping this new possibility into your crown, feeling it integrate your neural pathways, your whole body, your nervous system, and bringing this new possibility into your heart, Filling all four chambers of your heart with this feeling. And when you're ready, letting it radiate back out, sending it through the lifetimes, through this lifetime, and all the ages that are going to come after this, and tapping all over your body. Shaking it out and touching something grounding. Thanks so much for going on that journey. If it was helpful, hit like, subscribe for further videos, and comment below how that went for you. Thank you so much.